quicker. We don't have snow in the forecast today. A little bit tomorrow, which I'll get to in just a second. But today, it is all about the bitter cold air. Wind chill advisory in effect for most of the area. And here is why. Look at your wind chill forecast going forward throughout the next few hours into the afternoon hours. We will see double digit temperatures below zero for your wind chill value through nine o'clock. And then even as we get into the afternoon hours, it's probably not until two o'clock in the afternoon that we see our wind chill values get above zero. So we are in very dangerous territory here throughout a good portion of the day today. So you need to take the appropriate precautions. So I showed you the wind chill forecast. Here's where actual temperatures stand right now. One degree in Kokomo, five degrees in Greenwood, as well as Indianapolis. Four is what it, it temperature is right now in Muncie and these are actual temperatures throughout the day. And you can see why our wind chill values are so low. Our actual high temperature this afternoon is going to top off only at 12 degrees. The good news in the forecast today is we do have plenty of sunshine throughout the entire day. In Michigan, there's some lake effect snows. They should not make it here into central Indiana. But we are watching this storm system that's eventually going to bring us some mixed precipitation over the course of Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. And it's really going to be quite, uh, quite a wild ride for us. So tomorrow we start off very cold at about 10 degrees, but you notice the steady climb in the temperature throughout the day. And our high tomorrow is going to occur shortly before midnight, probably right around the freezing mark. But as we get into the mid afternoon hours, we are expecting a little band of snow that's going to make its way into the area. And it's going to be quick hitting and it's not going to be very wide. And not everybody's going to see the snow, but certainly something you'll need to pay attention to throughout the day tomorrow for the evening commute. And this is the warm front that'll be working its way through. And this band's really going to develop across the area. We're not really going to inherit it from the south up to the north. So that's why it's going to hit pretty quickly. And it's going to be during the evening rush. I think it's mainly an issue from Interstate 70 to the north. It could be a quick inch of snow with reduced visibilities on the roadways, but it won't take a whole lot to slick in the roadways up. Now, as we progress throughout Friday evening into early Saturday, here we are shortly before midnight, there could be a brief period of freezing rain but we should quickly go over to all rain throughout the overnight hours on Saturday into Sunday. And then Saturday is going to be a pretty wet day for us, but we're going to be dealing with temperatures well above freezing. Believe it or not, we are going from where we are right now in the single digits on Saturday afternoon to temperatures that will be approaching 50 degrees in the metro area approaching maybe 60 degrees across the southern half of the state. It will be cooler to the north, but it will be very, very short lived. Watch what happens already by 830 Saturday night. We are back down into the 20s and 30s. And then as we progress into early Sunday morning, we are all the way back down into the teens and single digits. So it's not going to last long, that brief warm up on Saturday. But the timing is good with the precipitation in the sense that it will be all rain for us. The one little hiccup will be as we go into Saturday night, into Sunday, as the cold front moves through, there could be another quick burst of snow that could give us maybe an inch in some locations, followed by a flash freeze on Sunday, where any moisture that's on the ground is going to freeze very quickly as the temperature Sunday morning gets all the way down to 13 degrees. Lord